I'm here with my Dash Mini Griddle and a package of Bisquick Cheese Garlic Biscuit Mix. The question is, will it griddle? Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. It says the serving size is a third cup of mix. So let's measure out a third cup. It looks like there's bits of cheese in here. So that's a third cup of mix. It smells garlicky. I am going to use this measuring cup as a mixing bowl. So I'm gonna add the one third cup of the biscuit mix into this measuring cup. Now the package says to add a half cup of water for the entire package. And there's five servings in the package. So that means we wanna use a little bit less than one ounce of liquid in this. Now two tablespoons are one ounce. So I'm going to use about a tablespoon and a half. I'm going to stir this together. It says that a soft dough should form. I might need to add just a little bit more water. So since I will be cooking this in the Dash Mini Griddle, I don't mind if it's a little softer than it should be. But overall, this looks good, so maybe I did use the full two tablespoons. Here's the Dash Mini Griddle. I've plugged it in, the blue light is on. Once the blue light goes off, then we could add our biscuit mix to the griddle. The blue light is off, so let's open this up and let's put our batter in here. I'm gonna spread it around a little bit. And let's shut this. I'm gonna set a timer for five minutes. We'll check on it in five minutes. It's been five minutes. Let's open this up and see what's going on inside. Look at that, that looks really good. It's nicely browned. I'm going to grab a plate. First, I'm going to unplug this. Let's put this on a plate. Can I use my fingers? It feels like a biscuit. It has like biscuit texture. And that's what it looks like on the bottom. And that's what it looks like on the top. It looks really good. It's nicely browned on both sides. It's very hot right now. I'm going to let it cool down a few minutes and then let's break into it and see what's going on inside. So there is a strong cheesy garlic aroma. Let's break into this. Let's see what's going on inside. That's what it looks like inside. It looks like it's thoroughly cooked. It's even flaky. Do you see how it's just like peeling apart like a flaky biscuit? It's nicely cooked. Like if you're a fan of biscuits, I think you'd really like this. The outside is crispy. The inside is soft. It smells more garlicky than it tastes, but it does have a nice flavor. So yes, the answer to will it griddle is that yes, it will griddle and it griddles very nicely. So, so if you're a fan of biscuits and Bisquick mixes, uh, you might like to make this. What's very interesting about making a biscuit in the Dash Mini Griddle is the shape and size of it when it's done. So it's flatter and wider than a traditional biscuit. So this is really nice if you're gonna make like a, a cooked egg and you could easily put an egg on top or whatever you want on top. So it makes a nice basis for a breakfast. I'm also wondering if it can actually be cut in half this way, like long ways. Uh, so, so let's see if we could do that or if it's too delicate to do that. 
yeah it's it's looking it's just breaking up it's very flaky these bisquick mixes are made to be very flaky so that's what we have here we have a really flaky biscuit and you see all the pieces of cheese in it all those yellow areas I should also point out that I got this bag of Bisquick Biscuit Mix at the Dollar Tree. It was $1.25. And it says there are five servings per pouch. And the serving size is a third of a cup, which is what we used for this. So that means um, this biscuit cost us 25 cents. So if you want a really cheap breakfast, you can make one of these biscuits. Uh, fry up an egg in the mini dash and add that. If you wanted to fry up some ham or bacon, you can do that. Um, and you could have a really nice breakfast for a dollar or less. So I just wanted to make sure I mentioned that.